Good afternoon. Today we have a Knight 25 watt hi fi basic amplifier. This is a kit that was made by the Allied Radio Corporation in Chicago, I'm guessing from the late 1950s. The amplifier is in very good operational and very good cosmetic condition. Cosmetically, you can see that the uh, amplifier is very clean. It is a chromed chassis. The chrome is nice and shiny, uh, as well as all the screw heads. And the painting on the transformers is also quite good. There are a few little nicks, um, is all I can see. There is no corrosion that I can see anywhere on the amplifier. It was stored in a cool, dry environment for, so, for uh, some time. Um, the amplifier's printing on the front, you can also see, is also in very good shape. We have uh, the controls here, a level control, input jack, a damping factor control, which varies the feedback ratio in the amplifier, the output speaker uh, connectors. Uh, this is 4, 8, and 16 ohm capability. We have a fuse a holder, and we have a power switch. Um, the amplifier is also, as I mentioned, in very good operational condition. Uh, the first order of business uh, when the amplifier came on the bench was to check the transformers. Uh, the transformers checked out just fine, and the DC resistances of all the windings are well within tolerances. There are no open or shorted windings. Second order of business was to look at the power supply capacitors. The, uh, the first stage capacitor, which is underneath the chassis, is a very large 700-volt, um, 8 microfarad electrolytic capacitor, and that checked out on my Teleo mic just fine. Uh, virtually no leakage uh, for that capacitor. The can on the top is a four-stage cap, uh, that's for the rest of the supply of the amplifier. Uh, the first stage in this uh, capacitor has gone rather leaky, and uh, I replaced it with a modern unit um, uh, conveniently mounted underneath the uh, chassis in the corner. The other uh, three stages of that capacitor checked out just fine. Um, the next order of business was to uh, take care of the front end and all the coupling capacitors and check all the DC resistances of the uh, or the resistances of the uh, resistors. Um, I replaced the coupling caps, that's what this uh, bag is, the original ones, uh, with modern polypropylene capacitors. Uh, the resistors checked out all with intolerances, so I left them as is. Um, the amplifier, by the way, is a Mullard circuit. It has an, uh, an Amprex labeled uh, EF86 on the front, uh, followed by a uh, Japanese 12AX7, um, or it might be American, I can't remember. Uh, we have two 6L6 GCs in the center. Uh, these are of Eastern European manufacture. And then we have a 5AR4 rectifier on the uh, side, and that is a realistic branded um, 5AR4, uh, most likely, I think, from Japan. Um, <clears throat> anyway, the amplifier does play very well indeed. Um, let's give it a listen then. So there you have it, a very good sounding and very cosmetically clean Knight uh, Mono 25 watt basic amplifier. Um, I should also note that the uh, this amplifier does come with its matching uh, preamplifier, and that's what you can see over here. This is the uh, preamplifier that has uh, all the controls for the early, um, early phonograph needles, as well as tape head and tuner, bass and treble, and level. Um, I should note that the preamplifier is not in operational condition. I have not opened it up and I have not replaced any components inside it. But uh, the power amplifier is in full operational condition. Anyway, thank you for listening.